Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway of Living Streams International bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online, of course, at the La Beach Settings, La Beach uh, Hotel. Uh, this morning, I'd like to uh, capture my thoughts with red light pictures. Red light pictures. Now, do you remember the story of, of David? The Bible says, and it begins with this, when kings go forth to battle, David stayed at the, at, at the castle. It was time for kings to go to battle. It was expedient that kings must, uh, this is the time where kings go forth to battle. But the Bible says, of course, David, out of a sense of accomplishment and all those things, I don't need to go to battle, or with every excuse that he could master, refused to go to battle. And the Bible says, when he was walking on the parapets of his, of his castle, and then he saw a woman bathing. And when he saw the woman bathing, he, it, it went further, and then he invited the woman, and then one thing led to the other, one thing led to the other, and then shame and ignominy uh, was a bread that he had to eat. And uh, it became uh, a smear on David's telling narrative. And that was a very, very bad one. He took somebody else's wife. Now, you know, there are three things that I'm, I'm about to look at. Number one, it was time for kings to go to battle. And then he didn't go. You know, sometimes after success, or when you think that you've tasted success, you get careless. You get careless. And that carelessness is going to cost you. You know, there are things that we used to do when, uh, in order to achieve success. There are exercises, spiritual exercises we, we used to go through. That is, spiritual battles that we were fighting. For example, in prayer and in our worship and in our service to God and even being in the house of God, just attending church services. Then all of a sudden, uh, success hits you. And then when success hits you, it places you, it takes you on an ego trip. It makes you think that, well, you know, I have reached there's a place I have reached. So the, the basic fundamentals that kept our faith and the basic fundamentals that kept us going strong and the basic fundamentals that made us victorious in our Christian life and in our, in this, even in our businesses and all those things, we kick away those uh, fundamentals. We rest easy on our lease. There's a sense of achievement. There's a sense of having reached and that there's no more to be, to be had. And this was, was the thing that plagued David. So, and then a woman was bathing. That was when David was introduced to a red light. The second thing is that when kings go forth to battle, he wasn't. And he was walking on the parapets of his place. That's a position of prominence, a race place. Pride, pride, and pride. And pride, you know, I've reached, I don't need to do it. I'll leave it to the small boys. I'll leave it to the this thing. No. Then the next thing is that he was presented with a naked picture of a woman who was bathing red light red light pictures and you see this is what i'm talking about sometimes we are exposed advertently or inadvertently to red light pictures and sometimes these red light pictures one way or the other uh, forces us or pushes us to a place where we begin to feast upon it our minds begin to feast upon it we begin to dwell upon it we begin to t turn it around and the pictures of those red lights and i'm talking of dangerous pictures you know maybe we begin to feast on them and then those things grow up in a way and they grow up in us in such a way that in the end they're going to push us to do something that we shouldn't do. What's the picture before you? What is your mind feasting on? Now here's the interesting thing. I can't keep the birds from flying over my head, but I can keep the birds from building a nest in my hair. I'll repeat that again. I can't keep the birds from flying over my head, but I can keep the birds from building a nest in my hair. What's your mind feasting on? What are the pictures, the red light pictures that your mind is feasting on? In this day in which we live, we are bombarded with social media. And social media has given us all sorts of accesses. Accesses to pictures and things that under normal circumstances, when we were growing up, you would never be exposed to. But right now, it is there. And in the quietness of your place, in the quietness of your bedroom, in the quietness of this thing, there are pictures you start feasting upon. And when you feast upon those pictures, those pictures are going to give you trouble. And those pictures are going to lead you into sin. It's going to build a mental capacity to explore for you. And you're going to be walking in that. What's the picture? Red light pictures.
pull them down fast. The Bible says, be therefore transformed by the renewal of your mind, that you will prove which is that good, um, uh, perfect and acceptable will of God. So we need some mind transformations if we have been exposed to those red light pictures. You know something? I'm prepared to fix my mind on things that are pure, on things that are of virtue, on things that are, that are of good report, on things that are honorable, rather on red light pictures that will just drown my energy and lead me to sin. Well, like I always say, the choice is yours. What's the picture before you? Red light pictures. You can either keep them, feast upon them, or throw them away. The choice is yours. See you later.